What's up? It's Howie from Ballyhoo and uh, it's Bus Invaders. Um, this is our bus, our uh, E350 van extended. Um, this is how we make it from show to show. Um, we got the, we got our band logo right here in the front. That's Earl. Earl, uh, he's like he's like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. You know, he just makes sure we get to the show no matter what, in any kind of weather. We make it happen. Um, yeah, I guess uh, you want to go check out the inside. All right, well, let's see. We got pillows and blankets. You know, even even the navigator. I mean, he should be navigating. He's usually asleep. It's kind of a mess up here. That old coffee and you know. Yeah. Let's see. We got the old GPS to make sure we get there. Um, there's Earl again. Constant reminder. Uh, we like to sometimes we get some stickers, and every now and then we'll put a sticker. You kind of like decorate it up. It's our friend's band stepdad from uh, Warped Tour that we met last summer. Um, Old Bay. Never leave Maryland without Old Bay. Very important. It's uh, JR said it best. Anything you put salt on, substitute that. Substitute this. Old Bay. This is like badass seasoning. It's like it's you know originally like people put on their crabs and stuff. We're from Maryland. But uh, you can put it on pretty much anything. It tastes amazing. Fries, awesome. Especially like the big fat steak fries at like a bar, a bar or something. You know? um, let's see. Vitamins, you gotta stay, stay healthy on the road. Very, it's hard enough to stay healthy. We had a ton of hats that came out to here. We just took them to Goodwill because nobody was fucking wearing them. It was just like, so now we have just a few hats that nobody wears. Oh, this. I wanted to do a visual representation of what Ballyhoo is, and I just did a little Photoshop work of uh, all four of us together. It's a very creepy human being. Um, I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Uh, okay, let's see. This kid, uh, this kid made us some watches with the Maryland flag. It's pretty awesome. Pretty stoked about that. So, always got to know what time it is, you know. Keeping it real, East Coast time. Um, CD player. You know, we usually we go right through the iPod though. You know, we don't do CDs anymore. Nobody knows what CDs are anymore. First aid kit uh, for when you fall down and you break your shin or something, and you need a quick fix. Um, got these pretty rad uh, windshield things. They cover that up right there. Yeah. There's a picture of, uh, of me with this kid from the 311 cruise. I feel bad, I don't remember his name, but he was a nice kid. His dad wanted him to get a picture with me, and then they, they gave me the picture next time they saw me, so that was pretty cool. I don't know why we keep it up here, but um, there it is. We got a power inverter in here, and we got the old uh, power strip there. Plug up five or six different things at once. Um, everybody's got to keep their MacBooks and iPhones and shit charged. So it's, it's, a, it's a crime if you have a dead battery. We're driving, uh, usually it's, it, we all drive, um, just switch shifts and it's always um, just kind of, it's who, whoever's not hungover, you know, then it, then it kind of comes down to like, who's the, le the least tired and exhausted um, and uh, do a little paper, scissors, uh, rock, paper, scissors, yeah, and uh, that person loses and they have to drive. But. Uh, no, it's um, you know, you got, you got to keep moving. Even even when you got, uh, like have a show that's ten hours away, you know, you got to start the drive that night and make it there. And um, we've been doing some early morning TV stuff and radio stations lately, and um, so they they want you to be like seven eight in the morning, and so you got to drive literally right after you play sometimes to get there. And you're expected to sleep in the van and look crisp and fresh and sing amazing at seven in the morning. You know, so uh, pretty interesting. That's quarantine back there. That's uh, anybody who's super tired. <laughs> super tired or really hung over or something, we just should, uh, toss them in the back and make sure they um, get as much rest as possible. Because we still got to rock that show the same. You can't, you can't cop out on that night, you know? Um, yeah, but as you can see, it's a complete mess in here. Uh, hurricane, whatever, um, came through. Blankets, pillows. Um, you know, it's just how we do it. We got the got the cooler here, um, fully stocked, beers and water, um, 
An old burrito is in there. Old, old burrito. Smell it. Yeah, you can smell it for sure. Um, a little ginger ale from when they give it, the, give it that, uh, give us that bottle of Jameson. We're starting to get uh, our rider filled this, this, you know, this last couple tours, so we get a bottle of Jameson all the time, beers and shit. Um, another Earl sighting behind the cooler there. Right there, he's everywhere. Um, <laughs> got a printer. You travel with a printer. You're not pro unless you pr travel with a printer. Got to make sure you get those day sheets right and uh, know when your schedule. Got to get those opening bands to to follow follow the rules. You know. This is a uh, coconut mignette, and he's a little. He's like the keeper of the van. He he's like our uh, he's our life coach at times. If you ever ever have any questions about life or your situation, you just kind of consult with him and he, he gives you advice. He doesn't actually talk, you just feel it. You just feel it, you know, you get that, that connection. And um, yeah, we gave him a, a, a nice wig and some pretty dope looking shades. And uh, he just kind of hangs out, uh, no pun intended, just hangs out. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? This little cubby, oh, it's just random shit. We get a lot of CDs from bands on tour. Um, you know, so we just we, we try to listen to as many as many as we can. Um, guitar strings here, SSV, great company out of uh, Colorado, they make awesome vaporizers and grinders. Emergencies, key wintertime tour right there. That's key. This is huge, especially on the winter tour. Uh, just throw one of these in your bottle of water, shake it up, slant it, and do that a couple times a day. And uh, hopefully, you're healthy. Breakfast of champions. You gotta have gotta have a breakfast in the morning when you wake up. Um, get that taste of whiskey out of them out of your mouth from the night before. Again, we have friends that hook us up with stuff. And got another little tiki god thing here. Um, we like to keep it festive, you know. It's uh, our music is is, is known for uh, party time and beachy kind of. You know, all your friends going to the beach or just hanging out drinking at a, at a luau or a tiki bar or something like that, I don't know. You know. So we get these sort of things in advance. What do we have here? Yep, can't go wrong. Yep, that's, we, have, we have awesome fans. We, uh, just, they keep us stocked up. We got Patron here, yeah. And we don't drink as much as we used to, believe it or not. Uh, that's why we haven't cracked any of this stuff yet. We've had this for at least a couple weeks. Um, Cookies, again, baked goods, uh, always. Might have another day or so. I don't know, they're kind of hard. Uh, cups, can never have enough, can never have enough cups. Because, uh, especially again on the winter tour, everybody's getting sick. You don't want to take a shot out of the same bottle that everybody else is. Sick boy. There's always at least two sick boys at once. You got my scarf, you know, you come to the Windy City, you gotta have a scarf. Um, got a, I always come with come prepared. I got my uh, my nice Apple products, and um, I have a guitar cable in here because I do demos and stuff. I can hook right up to my guitar and my iPad, and I can make demos and just uh, get get all that stuff out. Uh, let's see what else. Got a sleeping bag that no one ever uses. Right there. This is like the this is like the linen closet here. Um, no door, it's just sort of there. Everything just sort of, everything just sort of goes somewhere. It just sort of lays there and it becomes the designated spot. It's like, you know. Sorry we didn't clean up before this. Um, just some old drumsticks. You never know when you're gonna have to play air drums somewhere. In the crowd, out on the street. Um, and uh, yeah, this is, like I said, this is quarantine back here. This is pretty much, for anyone who's like super hungover and needs, needs a rest, um, and then just kind of sleep it off. And then we have uh, Batman, uh, keeps the van safe, make sure nobody steals it. Um, and he looks, he, he went out partying, I guess, last night, because he's got a corona thing on him. When we have to do like overnight drives, uh, and, and we need to just get there the next, the next morning, um, we, uh, there's seven of us. Um, four band, three crew, and usually um, someone's driving, someone's in 
navigator, and then you do, you do three dudes on, on the bench, two on the floor. And so we'll just throw a bunch of blankets down and uh, you know, everybody, you know, everybody in the back can lay down. It sucks for the people up front, but you know. And it's, even when you're laying down, it's not the best. I am super tall and I'm six foot six and I, I have to stay curled up. I can't stretch at all in this thing. So a lot of knee cramps and stuff in the morning. Um, but it is better than sleeping, you know, like this, up and down. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, taking some time, checking out our our home away from home. Uh, we, uh, as much as we hate being cramped up in here, we love we love our job, and this is how we do it, you know. So uh, thanks for checking it out, and uh, we'll see you out on the road. Um, yeah, I'm Howie from Ballyhoo, and uh, yeah, all the boys say hello and thank you, and we'll see you soon.